A new study raises the possibility that the same kind of oxygen chambers used to treat divers for the bends could be effective in treating a debilitating disease. The theory's a simple one. If high pressure oxygen can speed healing, it might be able to kickstart dormant brain cells. Not air, which is 21% oxygen, but pure 100% oxygen. There's basic science research that shows oxygen delivered under pressure actually makes tiny blood vessels grow much more actively in radiation damaged tissue. And preliminary data suggest its greatest potential may be in helping to prevent the effects of a stroke. It's offering new hope for new treatment of a crippling disease, cerebral palsy. Tonight, News 4's Ann Marshall is here with the story of Felicia's miraculous comeback. One Idaho family credits the clinic with saving their daughter's life. Welcome to HOC, Hyperbaric Care and Wellness Center, here in Vancouver, British Columbia. We are proud to be one of the few facilities in the world delivering naturopathic medicine and a delivery system through some of the latest advancements in science-based natural medicine. We feature four different departments that excel in their areas, the first being our brain injury and movement disorder department. Uh, here we offer some of the latest services in brain injury. The next is our environmental medicine department where we can clear out harmful chemical toxins that are stored in our body causing major disease and ill health. The third department is our cancer care department and finally our fourth department is our chronic pain department. All these departments establish a unique wellness and care center. There are clinics that give us hyperbaric oxygen or neurotherapy or auditory training but they're all separate clinics. Here it's one stop I have witnessed miracle after miracle here at HOC. A BC hyperbaric chamber has performed a near miracle on their daughter. It was just last year when Stephanie Martin suffered serious brain damage in a horse riding accident. The first time she came into the clinic, the only thing she could do on her own was basically breathing. She was not talking, she was not moving, she could not even sit up. After 140 of them, she could stand. And after 160 of them, she could do this. The hyperbarics has been phenomenal. This is Josiah, and he nearly drowned um, June of 2001. And we were told at that point that he would never ever do anything again, um, that he was lucky to even be alive, and he wouldn't even do anything as small as cough. And we uh, started hyperbaric oxygen We've done 120 dives so far, and he has, he's eating. They said he'd never eat. He's smiling and laughing, which is a joy to my heart. Um, he's starting to get better head control and hold his head up and starting to sit forward. He was, when we came out of the hospital, as stiff as a board, and now he can move his limbs and... Uh, pull his arms up. This morning he moved his right leg all alone without moving anything else, which is the first time ever for that. So it's just amazing what hyperbaric oxygen has done for him. And for our ham family, it's really given us hope. My um, other four children have seen what it is to see a miracle in the making. And um, we'll never lose faith. So, a treatment that may actually reverse the brain damage caused by a stroke. Martin. Now, the treatment is hyperbaric oxygen therapy. I'm from College Dale, Tennessee, just outside of Chattanooga. I've had two brain stem strokes. I'm supposed to be in the wheelchair. I'm about 40 treatments into hyperbaric. My circulation is better. I can cut my hair now, my neck is warm, my feet are warm, I can walk better, I have spider veins on my legs that have diminished immensely, they're almost gone. If you give hyperbaric oxygen very acutely after a blood vessel supplying the brain is blocked, you can keep the tissue alive. She had her stroke at 9 in the morning, I got her at 3 in the afternoon, 6 hours later, and she was semi-comatose, drooling, unable to talk, uh, unable to set up in 24 hours. 
she got up and walked out of my clinic perfectly back together. Dr. Steenblock says patients like Dr. Lapid have made remarkable progress even years after the stroke. Hyperbaric therapy works by forcing oxygen under pressure into the areas where blood flow is restricted. We can do the hyperbaric uh, to give the brain a basic start and bring it to the best possible health and then we can train it with the neurotherapy, uh, auditory training and whatever else it needs. Patients have flown in from all over the world to experience our brain injury department. We came all the way from home. This is Felicia Eastbury and we're from Port Lake, Idaho. My daughter was involved in an electrocution a little over a year ago. When the bathtub accident happened, Felicia's parents thought they'd lost their little girl. Even some doctors recommending it was time to let go. They told us to let her expire, to, that she would never open her eyes or breathe on her own ever again. <laughs> Did you see that, Lori? I told her to stand up and she stood up. The Eastburns say they have hyperbaric oxygen therapy to thank. In this chamber, the body heals itself by supplying oxygen to tissues that, due to trauma, are not getting enough. For Felicia, the treatments are helping heal her brain damage. She's on her way, way back. Her improvements, immense. Oxygen is the repairing element in the atmosphere, literally. If you were to cut your arm badly and it would normally take five weeks to heal, if you put oxygen directly on it, it'll heal five times as quickly. Dr. Richard Neubauer, the world-renowned expert in the use of hyperbaric therapy. We've had little kids that have come in with nothing but cerebelli, no brain cortex. The cortex lights up like a Christmas tree. These little kids begin to suck, they begin to crawl, we get rid of the peg tools, we get rid of the tracheostomies, and we, we've had some dramatic results. Oxygen delivered under pressure allows our body to form new blood vessels. New blood vessels allows more delivery of natural oxygen and other nutrients to parts of the body that are deficient and allows the metabolic waste to be now distributed outside of the cell into its excretion organs. Conditions that we've seen the most dramatic improvements have been injuries. Uh, injuries being brain injuries, traumatic brain injuries, strokes, other neurological conditions, and injuries of the uh, blood vessels, nerves, uh, diabetics. I have multiple sclerosis. I have noticed an improvement in my uh, my tremor, an improvement in my language, the fact that I can hold my head up without being drooped over all the time. Help photooxidize the blood to clear out. HOC has helped me incredibly. She was unconscious and for some reason she vomited and she aspirated. And we don't know how long she was like that, but she was in a coma for um, quite some time afterwards and she didn't have enough brain activity to even to sustain life. Conventional medicine gave us no hope at all. They tried to make sure we didn't have any hope because there wasn't any. And hyperbarics has uh, really showed us that there's lots of hope to get better, isn't there? Yeah. UPN News 13. Some call it a miracle cure. Hyperbaric oxygen, no longer just a tool to cure deep sea divers of the bends. Now it's being used to restore brain function and even to save limb. yesterday underwent shoulder replacement surgery. Increased strength that I feel each time I take the treatment. We can use hyperbaric oxygen for 130 medical peer-reviewed uh, uh, treatments. We have had over 80,000 pressurized treatments with the majority being in the brain injury department. From the many thousands of treatments we have performed here at the clinic in Vancouver in our brain injury department, from strokes to traumatic brain to cerebral palsy, 
I can definitely say the injured brain can be repaired. Oh, I'm seeing so much progress in so li in little time. It's r almost impossible to find words for how unbelievably thankful we are for the tremendous difference this has made for Curtis and for us. I can't say enough about the oxygen therapy. It's just changed our whole lives. As a mother, to have a child be able to not to come up to you and say, I love you, Mom, and hug your leg and give you a kiss, now she gives me a hug and that's worth everything in the world. Everyone that has a brain injured child should get their child in a tank as soon as possible. Straight out of the hospital, if not in the hospital. Don't wait. What a good boy. <laughs>